Now on the travel front, ATA has what's called two to go companion fares, starting at only $59. You pay full fare to and from ATA's selected cities, and your friend can join you for as low as $59 each way. Tickets must be purchased by April 17th for travel between May 2nd and September 30th. To book, just call 1-800-I-FLY-ATA. Now, I also found out where you can snag a three-hole punch for your home or your office for free. You can find that and links to the rest of today's deals by heading to our website, zdtv.com slash money machine. Just click on deals of the day. Now, let's see what's hot on the online auction block. This is brought to you by auctionwatch.com. If you're a movie buff, eBay's great collection has something that will, that will make your script collection complete. It's a copy of the revised final script of Orson Welles' classic, Citizen Kane. Right now, it's listed at $325, and the auction closes April 9th. If you're interested, we've got the link on our website. Just head there and click on Deals of the Day. I'll be back tomorrow with more shopping, travel, and auction deals. Pam and Carmine? All right. States don't go anywhere. Okay. Are there any updates on recent auction items, cool things that you've told us about lately? Yes. Actually, I've been looking around. Remember there was this autograph photo of Titanic's Kate and Leo? Uh-huh. Remember that? Well, that one actually ended up selling. Wait, no, that, not that oh, Kate and Leo. <laughs> but as long as we have this one up, I should tell you that this <laughs> autograph photo is of ZDTV's very own Kate Patello and Leo Laporte. <laughs> it's on eBay, and it's selling for 85 bucks right now. Oh yeah. Still two more days left to bid. The auction closes April 8th for that one. Now, the one I was actually talking about was oh, this so picture right here. This is the autograph photo of Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio from Titanic. And this was on the Sotheby's Amazon auction site. It sold for $360. So that's what I've <laughs> that's got That's wild. Okay, Whatever. Thanks, thanks, you guys. Thanks, Dace. A lot of people that's in funny. the chat room were asking the question, what are your top technology stock picks? These are Carmine's. I'm going to take them. But in the chat room, Matt says his top picks include Juniper Network, Cisco, Yahoo. Yeah. But Chris's include AOL, Compaq, and eBay. Okay. What do you think? Tell us. Cisco's one of mine. I've got uh, six others. Can let's I look go at debate this? them. Can go I have ahead. this? Let's go debate. All right, let's go. <laughs> Thanks We're going to argue it out. See you tomorrow. Do not try to adjust the picture. Color TV. There is nothing wrong with your TV. A new form of television is here. High, High definition. Up to six times sharper than current analog technology. The people who brought you TV, the color TV, and digital satellite TV welcome you to HD TV. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your television. We've just made a better one. And now, the latest from the ZD Network Newsroom. Hello, I'm Victoria Racano for ZDTV News. Europe's answer to eBay has good news. QXL.com saw shares go through the roof Thursday. The UK-based auction house moved as high as 340 percent after SG Cohen gave the company a strong buy rating and slapped a two-year $333 price target on the stock. A three-for-one stock split also took effect for the company. SG Cohen says it expects QXL could grow into eBay's current market capitalization, which is roughly $25 billion. And investors are saying Yahoo! The web portal delivered a first quarter profit of $63.3 million, or 10 cents a share. That's a penny above estimates. The company says it generated $228 million in quarterly sales, up 120 percent from the year-ago period. She's Kate Patello. I'm Kate Patello, kicking again. Bam! And I'm Leo Laporta. Thank you so much for joining us. Coming up in today's show, it is <sighs> Kate's last time as, and I want to say this exactly right, as the regular co-host of the Screensavers. Oh, 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 come on, you guys. It's okay. 
She's gonna. She's got a great new job. She's moving on to co-host Game Spot with Adam Sessler, and of course, is going to be back here all the time. You. I will come visit. I'm going to be doing gaming segments. In fact, you know those sneak previews that Game Spot always gets. I'm going to make sure that you guys get them too. And we've already planned our reunion uh, tour in about 30 years. Kate and I. We're going to go. I'm going to screen save. Yeah, it's great to see you. How you, <coughs> how you doing? We've got an eye and lung for two. It's fabulous. <laughs> also, I think we can go to Vegas and do that. We can do the whole thing. You know, you think so? Yeah. All right. Well, then there you go. But hey, we do have actually content we on the show. Content. We're not just going to be modeling all uh, no, day. No, no, no. We're going to try and pretend it's like a normal show and everything today. So. We're going to show you how to upgrade that beige Macintosh G3, which is way cool. I'm actually looking forward to seeing it. We've had it as long as we've had Kate. And oh we my decided gosh, that's true. <laughs> we decided <laughs> we should upgrade it. We can't upgrade Kate. We can upgrade it. And then later, Sumi Das has a report on something called digital clay on today's fresh gear. Pop All it in right. your digital kiln and make a digital pot. Today in the chat room. Today in the chat something room. Something Kate's wanted to do for two years. I have. Because, now, let me explain it before we do it. Alex Castle, who was our web king, you know, before Regina Represciato was our web queen, before Tom Merritt was our web... Let's not go through the whole list. You know what I'm saying. It just sounds like everybody's leaving. Right. Well, okay. Alex. Alex Castle. <laughs> used to work here. used to get so irritated with us because we were going to ask people, do you use ICQ? Right. Are you going to use Mac OS 9? Right. Uh, will you buy a Dreamcast? Right. But we never phrased them that way. No. We always said... Will you Dreamcast? Right. Do you ICQ? Right. So it irritated the heck out well, of him. Well, he being the grammarian that he was. Indeed. He said, folks, quit verbing your nouns. <laughs> so for two years, the running joke in, the ch in our, our meetings is, so do you verb your nouns? <laughs> which, by that the way, is, is verbing a noun. Today. If you use the word verb, which is a noun, as a yep. verb, that's verbing your noun. Indeed. You know, I even verb my pronouns. Do you? When I say, I'm going to Martha, to Martha Stewart. To Martha something. That is verbing the pronoun. Wow. Xeroxing. You could say, I'm going to totally geek. I'm going to geek my way into blank. I'm geeking. Sure. That's another one. I think hacking was originally, a well, hack was sense. something that you did badly. And when you were going to hack, that I think that's a verb noun that's a been around hack. for so long we're used to it now. And that's what happens with verb nouns. They become commonplace. Indeed. Xeroxing now, you would say, yeah. that's normal. Although right? Xerox, that actually drives Xerox nuts, by the way, because they're like a document computer system company now, right. and they're like, we're not just photocopiers. Say something else. A little later in the show, we'll be Kleenexing. Roll that, Roll see? Yeah. Can you Kleenex this? Can you Windex that? That's Can you good. brand that's names? Good. That's a big way to verb your nouns. So, the computer industry is terrible about this. They do it right and left, forward and back. I mean, I'll just nonstop verbing. And that's the point, isn't it? It's the whole loosening of the language. It's the whole now, now, now. It's new speak. I kind of like it. It's kind of hip. You like the new new speak? I verb my nouns. I'd verb them more often if I could think of better verbs for my nouns. I like nouns to verb my, my nouns as well. See? Although, you know, I have an old axiom. Never date a guy that uses party as a verb. <laughs> Let's party, man. Let's party. A little later after the show, see big ya. party. Come on, man. We'll see you at the party. They're going to party down. So as you can see, it's hard hitting That's why she would never television. date me. Well, Party! Oh, I can, uh, no. Party! So, yeah, if I'd been in college instead of, like, All first right, shut grade, up. so what do you think? <laughs> uh, so, take the web poll, and of course, while you're there, uh, go on the screensavers.com and uh, click on the talk back feature. <laughs> what on earth are they going to talk back about? Let's keg, man. See? You see? Right there. Let's keg. <laughs> Okay. You can call us at the, uh, you can, uh, you can, uh, you can tell that, you've said that a lot. 888-989-7879 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> us. Or, or, <laughs> pretty good, huh? Good. I verbed, I verbed a, uh, a number. Or you chat with us, <laughs> chat.znet.com, you click on the screensavers room. You can, um, screensavers room it. Screensavers room it. Right. And if you want to net cam it, you, uh, click on that, uh, net cam, you, you net cam cineplex it. Because who's in there today? Let's look. Do you Look ZDTV it? Do you ZDTV see I Shannon? Do. I do. Oh, Are you all alone in there, Shannon? Shannon? There's nobody there? Oh. Just Marge Simpson and you, huh? Somebody go oh. pay Shannon. Call her up. Pay, pay her some company. She's all dressed up because she's going to go to a big party tonight. That's right. She looks fabulous looks today, lovely. might I add.
Oh, remember, <laughs> I'm sorry, I got distracted. Focus this is on what the you show. get. The magnetic picture frame if you appear on the show via Netcam. And by the way, our fridge <laughs> is loaded with Kate is great <laughs> pictures from fans all over the world and some great pictures of Kate from a recent uh, soiree. Out in the park. Out in the park there. And by the way, underneath the is there, if you see that picture, someone sent it. Here's a picture of Kate's parents, Kate's proud oh, those parents. Are your parents? Let it's me see. Judy Garland and Noel Coward. Oh, well, it should that have been your so parents. That is so awesome. That's true. You know, you too can have your picture on our fridge, on the Screensavers fridge. Just send it to the Screensavers at ZDTV.com and make fridge picture the subject line. Folks, before we take a call, I want to kind of tell you a couple of things. First of all, apparently Frankenstein and I called each other up on the phone today. Look at this. To see if we match. the same outfit. Look at that. Weird, huh? <laughs> this now, is the outfit you wore in the Screensavers almost, you wear in the open, isn't quite. it? not quite. Let me tell you, I brought this to show you guys. Why pleather is not really a big stand-up fabric. This is the exact jacket, Ooh, ladies save and that gentlemen, for the that I wore in the opening credits. And look what's left of it. Oh. This was my cool, my favorite jacket. Apart. Holes in the sleeves everywhere. It's completely yeah, I think it had completely holes in the trashed. sleeves when we did the show. Open, no, it didn't. didn't. It? Oh, all right. No, no. So, so you actually bought another one. Yes, I did. <laughs> and you know what? What? I tore this one, too. <laughs> so, you know, there you go. Pleather. Lasts forever. Well, now, I didn't wear the uh, same outfit that I, we wore on the show open because I couldn't find it in my closet, to be honest with you. Well, here you go. You can just put this on. I will wear that. And, right. and, and actually, I'm wearing the uh, shirt that Kate gave me that we wore to our... Oh, All right. Very Elvis. Boy, that's hot. <gasps> Baby. That we, we wore this to our... <laughs> We wore this. Uh, I never mind. I just Here, forget. Let, let Let's just answer this. some calls. No, it's stuck. A little. It's not coming off. Oh I got some bad goodness. news for you. You're gonna have to cut it off me. Out. We wore this to the our medics. first. Public I wore this shirt appearance. to our first public appearance in Las Vegas. Yes. And it still has did. the uh, the tear stains. <laughs> Faye joins us on the ZDTV <laughs> Netcam Network from Glen Ridge, New Jersey. Hello, Faye. It's Broadway, Faye. I'm here again. How, How are, are you? you? I'm always first. You're the first. Oh, you're yeah. first. All right, before you do anything, hold on just one second. Let's start with this, okay? okay. Ready? Get ready. All right. Stand back, GameSpot TV, because you want to know what you're going to get in case. Just a little touch of, just a little touch of, just a little touch of star quality. She's good. Oh, She's that good. That was awesome. I'm telling you, that is the number that keeps me from auditioning for the role of Ava, because I cannot hit that note. That's just a little touch of star quality. quality. I can, hit the, I can hit the last I hit note. note. I can't hit any of the previous notes. I know. T good job, Faye. You totally rock. <laughs> She's got some pipes. Oh, <laughs> so, Faye, do you have a comment for us? A comment? Um, do you verb your nouns, you Faye? Just, yeah. She just called a sing. I, I was only kind of paying attention to that. Yeah, I guess I do. What, I do what's Kate's your favorite? Man and a few Leos here and there. You know? <laughs> oh, really? To, what's, what is um, to Leo? To mess something up really bad. <laughs> Which oh. is I barely got on tonight because I had I, I had to reinstall Windows and I'm That's it. everything I did made it worse and I just messed That's this Leo. whole thing up. That's and it. That's it to Leo. She's Leoing it. Yeah. Um, so I'm <laughs> presuming that to Kate means to be like a total dork. No, to is fix that... it. No. Oh, to fix it. Yes. Okay, I was thinking. So Leo. this is this. Is, we'll put it in a sentence. Oh man, I had a rough day today. I Leoed my computer during a Windows reinstall, but fortunately my roommate was able to Kate it back into order. <laughs> <laughs> Good, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Faye. Thanks, Faye. Hmm. See you later. Wait. No, oh. no, no. One more. There's more? Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, I have two more, but I'll just do one more. Just okay? do one more. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I love being serenaded. It's so cool. Go for it. All right. Don't cry for us, Kate Botello. <laughs> Your fans will always love you, oh. whether with Adam or beloved Leo. We'll never leave you. Don't keep your distance, <laughs> just keep your promise, come back and see us. <laughs> Yay! Oh, really Who says geeks can't perform? See, our audience rules. Geeks rule. Thanks, Faye. Good Thank job. You, Faye. Appreciate Thank you, Thank you, everybody. I guess we're going to take a break now. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, what's coming up after the break? We've got some stuff. After the break, we are going to take a Macintosh, turn it around, turn it inside out, fix it, make it faster, make it better. It's all coming up. When the screensavers continues. What she said. <laughs> The 
The Screensavers is sponsored by Gateway. Gateway speaks to 50,000 people a day. Call, click, or go in and connect with them. Wish you could try things before you buy them? Well, come into a Gateway Country Store and you can try all the computers before you buy one. Featuring the AMD Athlon processor. ZDTV's second annual CAM Film Festival is going on now. And we've got three big reasons for you to start making your digital movie. We're giving away a brand new Sony TRV digital camera, an Avid Express DV editing system, and an iMac DV special edition. Just go to ZDTV.com slash CAMFest for details. Make a video, send it to ZDTV, and you could win. Three big prizes, one big show. ZDTV second annual CAM Film Festival. Enter now. Does your e-commerce site have what it takes to be the UPS Merchant of the Week? Put it to the test. Go to ZDTV.com, click on the Merchant of the Week, and enter your e-business. Your .com could win a week of promotion on ZDTV. While you're there, vote for this week's contender, and you could win a $100 gift certificate from Buy.com. It's a win-win destination. At ZDTV.com, click on the Merchant of the Week. ZDTV, Jim and Sumi are not only showing you the freshest gear, they're giving it away. Every day this week, you can enter to win a set of Philips speakers for your home computer. Here's how. Just go to ZDTV.com slash fresh gear and find the answer to their daily quiz. If you answer correctly, you're automatically registered. Getting new gear has never sounded this good. The ZDTV Philips speaker giveaway on now at ZDTV.com slash fresh gear. It's time once again for News Groove. This week's recommendation, comp.os.linux.powerpc. We've talked about Linux on the Mac before, but this is the place to find out all about it. Which one's better, PowerPC Linux or Linux MK? How to install it, what to do with it once you install it. It is a news groove for everyone who is... She and just you know wanted what? to do this for so long. I'm like, always doing I? it off camera when he's now reading she, that, y'all. Now we know what she does. And now you know what I'm... Turn the jerk. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a all good right. answer. I can't... I'm okay. My mom taught me how to do all that stuff. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's like, come on, mashed potato. I taught my mom how to do that stuff. If, uh, We've got uh, Darren. If you want more news, right. news group recommendations, oh, right. just go to the website. Screen the the screensavers.com. Screensavers right. Darren, Darren is on the line in North Carolina. Darren, what's the name of your town? Lucama. Blue comma. Blue comma. Yeah. Blue comma. Like blue comma? That's no, it. Like comma, 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 me, yeah. Oh, come comma, on. Comma, come me. Oh, yeah. Your big joke. What can we do for so, you? So, what's up? I have a question about motherboards. Yes. Yeah, okay. Sure. Um, how, do I, how do I tell um, whether I have an AT or ATX form board, and what's the difference? The difference is the power uh -huh. connector, pretty mm -hmm. much, and also how the ports are on the back. Uh -huh. um, so, uh, because the baby AT form factor, is yeah, the AT I mean, form factor. The, the, you, you could put a baby AT or a regular ATX or a regular ATX into the same case, but the real the real issue on the case is going to be the power connector. So what you should do is look at the uh, the. Uh, 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 the Where AT power uh, connectors were dual connectors, okay? Okay. So you'd put two connectors in. The ATX has a single power connector. I'm talking about the connection from the power supply to the motherboard. Okay, so if you have a single connector coming from the, it's hard to tell when you look at it on the motherboard because the two go in there and it looks like one big long one. So you actually might have to pull them out to see. Ooh. But no, it's, there's just a little clip. It's just a plug. You just huh. unpull, unconnect that. And, uh, oh, no big deal. Nothing. No, nobody's going to get hurt. Make sure you unplug it before you do it. And then so dual will be AT. Single BATX. That's, that's about the best do way to really, tell. Do you really, really, really need to know because don't they both fit in the same case? No. You uh -huh. do need to know because there you go. they fit in the same case as long as you have a different panel on the back, but the power supply is where the problem is. You need to have the right kind of power supply. And generally speaking, that means the right kind of case. So you're going to upgrade your case, is that it? Um, I'm going to upgrade. I bought an upgrade package online. Oh, okay. This one's Would ATX. You? Here. So, yeah, you can just look at it. And bada bing, bada boom, you can see right there at the top the power connector is ATX because it's just a single 
one like that, okay? Hmm. And then, simple. is this an AT uh, over here, Roger? Nope, it's ATX also. I mean, I, you know, you can tell right away. Oh, wait a minute, this is nice, because this has dual. This is AT and ATX. That's, oh, Roger hey, cool. is so smart. See? He brought us one. So I this is the you, ATX, this is the old you. AT connector down here, and that's an ATX connector. All and you right. have two plugs going into this AT. The other, there is a slight difference on the back panel, but really that can be uh, fixed because by, um, you can see this is an older motherboard, the, yeah. the dual one, because it has a, the old AT style keyboard connector. That may be another, oh, that's another a good thing indicator. versus the PS2. And then all the new ATX ones have the back plugs arranged in this form factor. And as mm -hmm. I said, you can almost always get a case to work with this by changing the back panel. Hmm. But, uh, but the power supply is going to be a bigger issue. Hey, wow. wow, that's neat that we had both of those. That is neat. How lucky for us today. Okay, Darren? Yes, yes, thanks a lot. All right, Darren. Thank you for the call. We appreciate it. Take okay, care now. I would just like to say goodbye to Kate and that we're all going to miss her. Thanks, yeah, we Darren. Are. I'm going to None more than me. Uh, see her on GameSpot TV, though. She's not. She's just really, actually, they right, tape it really right across right the way. Right there. Just right over there. there. Yeah. And I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be standing behind the cameras going, <laughs> And I will. You think I'm not going to be doing that to yeah, you? Yeah, I know you are. Kate's heading you off kidding? in the chat <laughs> to talk to all of you. You give her your best wishes in there, okay? And coming up next, we're going to take that old beige G3 we bought right. on the very first days of the screensavers and make it like new again cool. when the screensavers continue. Stay all here. All right. See you in the chat. Linux is a revolution. It's a fundamental change in the way we approach computing. Having the potential to uh, control to a large extent uh, your destiny as a developer or as an administrator. Because open source gives people freedom and empowers them. No question, in a connected world, everyone is looking for the next big thing. And if you're one of the growing number of Linux enthusiasts looking for applications, services, games, the latest news, or up-to-the-minute help, there's really only one source to get what you need, linuxmall.com. We have the best news, tutorials, how-tos, features, and everything on the site from beginners to advanced Linux users. Uh, it's right there with the click of a button and you receive it quickly. We refresh our content several times a day. Because LinuxMall.com is vendor independent, that has made us the number one Linux e-commerce related site on the net. And that accessibility and affordability starts with an operating system for your computer that costs only $1.89. You also find links to entertainment and fun things, uh, like Tux, the Linux mascot. <laughs> Matter of fact, the Penguin Power line of products is just one more reason people come to our site. Linux gives me the stability and the reliability I need to get my job done. And LinuxMall.com gives me access to all of the products that I need and the news that I need so that I can do my job better. Because here it is, you know, this, this little cuddly penguin and it's turning the world upside down. So if you enjoy marching to the beat of a different drum, the global Penguin Power Revolution starts here. LennoxMall.com. For another edition of Digital Avenue, I'm Teresa Richardson. It's time now for our weekly alternative segment, a neat tip or trick about an alternative operating system or device. Now, this week, we're going to show you how to bring new life to that old G3. Gosh, it's hard to believe I'm saying the words old G3 together. To help us with this tip, we've invited Macworld uh, uh, contributing editor Chris Breen. He's going to do the, all the hard work. Yeah. G3, this is only two years old. Yes, but look at it. It's beige. It's not blue and white. It's not gray and <laughs> we white. We can't make it blue and white. Uh, well, a we little spray paint, you know. <laughs> we can do a few sure things. We can. We're actually upgrading three different different subsystems yeah. here. Let's open it up right. and show them. Right. Actually, before you open it up, All right. what's the first thing you want to do? Well, you want to take the cover off. Yes. And then... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm leaving. I'm giving you a little hint. Ooh. You want to do something so, uh, with, with this. this. Um, <laughs> um, oh, the hard drive. Right. right. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to uh, upgrade the hard drive. Right. The way to do that, and this is a little tricky on these things, is because these original G3s did 
not have a second uh, IDE bus. So what you have to do is you have one connector going to the CD-ROM and the other one going into the hard drive. And that's it. That's it. So you can't add an additional one. You have to replace the one you have. So we're going to pop the CD connector and right. put it on our uh, new hard drive and copy all the data over. Right. So That's just to prepare it for that. Yeah. Okay. You'd pull it over and you'd have to initialize it then with the uh, hard drive setup right. that comes with the thing. Okay. So now, now you've what got we, your... What we're getting is a 32 gig hard drive. Beautiful thing. It's, right. It's an IBM Death Star. 7200. 7, RPM. Now, it's so big. This is an old 4 gig drive right. that we're replacing. Right. Do I need to partition it? Do I need to do anything special with it? You know, you don't have to partition it any longer with HFS Plus, but it's nice to be able to do it because it's just for organizing your files. So as long as you format with HFS Extended or HFS Plus, right. you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. set. Okay. You don't have to worry about files. So size, you can make right? one big 32 gig partition. And then lose everything. So <laughs> yeah. it's better to put in four or five partition. partitions. We, I think we put it in five. Yeah. And this is the old drive. So we copied all the data over. We you need any special over. software to do that? No. Nope. Just, just drag it you over? just drag it over. Okay. Now, let's. this is really easy, actually, to get into. Right. There's a new drive we put in. Next thing we did is we upgraded the chip. This is the old chip. Yeah. Tell us about the chip upgrade. Well, that's an old G3. So it's probably a 233 megahertz. Yep, that's what it was. That's what it was. And we uh, we pulled that thing out of here because we wanted to put a 500 megahertz G3 in there. Wow. And it's... That's a big difference. It's we a doubled huge the speed. Difference. Double the speed, right. The heat sink, you just take it from the old chip and put yeah, it on the Yeah, you'll see there's a little clip on the top here. Okay. And you just push that down and take a screwdriver to it, lift the heat sink off, and then on the side here, there's a little handle. Right. You just... Snap it up. It's Snap it up, and it's a, it's called a ZIF slot. Right. And it just pops right out of the ZIF slot. You pull it out. You place the new one in there. Put it down. Drop the little crank. Put the heat sink back on. You're done. It is a very easy thing to do. Right. Now I noticed that newer technologies that provided the upgrade also provided this. What is that? That's a grounding strap. <laughs> and if you want to be extra extra careful yeah. and extra safe, which we're not here on the screen. <laughs> we are not. We're the first to admit yeah, it. That's right. We're trained professionals. Do not <laughs> as we do, but as we say. So what, I'd attach this to the power supply. Yeah. You put one end around your wrist, and okay. then you put the um, and you want to leave the Mac plugged in when you do it. Actually. Okay. And that's because it's going to draw off any static electricity. Right. Now, folks, the reason we don't use these uh, when, when you see us on the air here is because it's a very moist climate here. Where we don't have a lot of static. We but if you live in a dry climate where you got a lot of static, Las Vegas, you definitely want to Yeah, do this. and if you have a shag carpet and you routinely do the hully gully before <laughs> doing these kind of things, <laughs> yes. you want to do that. Right, and so uh, I want to put that on the power supply. You put that on the power supply. Not uh, that I'm doing anything. <laughs> right. Because you're going to add the memory. Okay, perfect. So, so, we so have... I'll just hold your hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last upgrade, a little bit right, of uh, the last thing we do. Here. Here. We've got uh, 128 megs of RAM here that Ooh, we're adding to the I'm stock happy. 64. I'm very happy. This is going to make a big difference. And we just push it in there and push down. This is because uh, IB, uh, Apple has really adopted the kind of a little oh, bit more. I think. Quite get that. IB, I can see it. I, okay. They've really gone with the IBM PC compatible standard right. of IDE disks and uh, SD RAM in DIMMs and everything. This is really a very easy upgrade. Anybody who's done this on the PC side, I mean, this is hard to get in. Maybe we're putting in backwards. Are we? No. Well, let's turn it we around and find out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we would. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> so there's notches. Just uh, learn from us. Oh, you should put notches. follow the notches. Yeah, there's I only see. one way to put this thing in here. Yeah, I guess you should uh, put a little it, bit better uh, angle, but I didn't have a little bit better brain. <laughs> All right. All right, that's good. There Let's close it up and turn it on, shall we? Okay. All right. All right oh. we, we had this unplugged. You did break it. Wait a minute. Did he I said break the it? first thing you're going to break ah, is this. I and knew you it, did. and I did break it. <laughs> this is a little kickstand they put in here. <laughs> it has no that, purpose. No purpose, and you'll absolutely break it the first time you do this. And don't worry. Ha, does this void my warranty? <laughs> you bet it does. It's big time, right? <laughs> big time. Okay. All right. Uh, na, na. Yes, this is the proper way to install it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a single engineer who doesn't say, when in doubt, just smack it a good smack one. Smack it a good one. Oh, right. yeah, and that looks great. Now, we're going to turn it on. It's b it binged. That's it binged. a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Okay, this monitor is connected. What have we done here? We, we, uh, qu we more than, uh, we eight times, we octupled, octupled the hard drive. the hard drive. How much? We doubled the processor. Right. And we uh, tripled the RAM. Tripled the RAM, right. Wow. So that's, a, now, how much faster is this machine going to be after all this? Well... The processor is twice as fast. Mm -hmm. The uh, hard drive is twice as well, not quite twice as fast, but it's, it it's quite a bit faster. And, and I'll tell you what, uh, this is a nice upgrade to do for how much money? I how did much this. Did we spend? Let's see. I did this also with a Voodoo Three card, oh. and that costs around nine hundred dollars. So if you drop another hundred bucks, around eight hundred. Not bad at all. Yeah. And it's like getting a whole new machine. Yeah. 
Really fabulous. Yeah. Look at that. The newer tech uh, Max Power G3 comes on. That's right. a, and this, I tell you, I can feel right now. This is yeah. this booted more than twice as fast. Yeah. One thing I nice. failed to mention is that when you're installing the hard drive, also you'll get an extension that comes on the CD. You want to install that software. on the hard drive as well. Yeah, software, and it, that's that helps with that yes. Right. Okay. Great. Chris, what a great upgrade. Thank you very much for we'll doing that. Uh, just, uh, uh, yeah, but leave the top <laughs> off. We'll get it later. And you can, here, this is your, oh, for gee, you. Sorry, to find out more about upgrading your old Mac or any past alternative, visit our website at thescreensavers.com. Chris, we really appreciate it. Chris Breeze, oh, Mac you. World contributing editor and has a very nice tie now. Don't start flipping, folks. Still to come on this very show. Can you take your uh, PC Linux applications and move them to a Mac? We'll talk about it. Also, more answers to your toughest computing questions. Plus, out of the playroom and in, in, into the lab, it's digital clay. All that and more as the screensavers rolls on. <laughs> I can't. I just thought I would wish you luck on a new show. <laughs> Please come back and visit soon. Well, I miss you. Love you, Kate. The Money Machines Tax Guide 2000 will show you how to save on your taxes. Go to ZDTV.com slash Money Machine and click on Tax Guide 2000. Come back in like a half hour. All right, Dad. So what do you think about blue chips? What's not to like? Phil, you're late. Bobby, Bobby, not today. It's not a good day. Big log. Come sit down. Can I get you some peach tea? My husband Bobby. is jealous of my portfolio. Not a good day for Phil. Phil, your hands are a mess. My stockbroker just called me with news. I'm sick about it. I mean, what do we tell my wife? She says to me, Phil, what's happening with our portfolio? Phil's getting wacky out there. Uh, I don't <laughs> Phil, know what to Phil. think. Have you heard of Ameritrade? Oh, yeah. Online trading. $8 a trade, Phil. One price, no gimmicks. So easy. Ameritrade, huh? Do it for yourself. Girls, I got an email alert. Oh, hey, what's going on? What is a three for one? A three for one split or something? So everybody here trades. You mean they contact you by the computer and let you That's know? That's right. Get busy, Phil. Hey, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I feel like that peach juice. <laughs> 25th anniversary special. Open a cash account with $500 and get 25 internet equity trades commission free in the first month. Go to Ameritrade.com. Ameritrade. Believe in yourself. Welcome to the future of drafting. Wow. I bet the guys that run this stuff spent years in school. No, you might be surprised. So what are the chances of me getting to work here? Well, first of all, you gotta love to draw. And second? And second, you gotta call ITT Tech. For an informative brochure, call ITT Tech at 1-800-942-0099. That's 1-800-942-0099. Get something for nothing. Shareware, money-saving tools, hot files, plugins, screen savers, and more. Go to ZDTV.com, click on our free downloads and tools. Plugged into the best of the net. The hottest interviews with the most supercharged celebrities. Plus reviews of the top sites to do almost anything. There's even a handy Terra guide to the sites featured in each issue. Call now for your risk-free sample of Yahoo Internet Life and check out columns that make almost anything easier online. Easy shoppers spotlight sizzling new shopping sites. Save big bucks with Old Way Netway. Travel the net at warp speed with Easy User. Use your credit card and get a gift. The amazing Ultimate Web Companion CD-ROM free. Here's the deal. 12 issues, only $19.97. That's 44% off the newsstand price. Satisfaction is guaranteed. Cancel and owe nothing. Keep your trial issue free. Get plugged into Yahoo Internet Life. It's the definitive guide to the net. Call 1-800-913-9977. That's 1-800-913-9977. I'm Mike from Peru, Indiana. Don't touch that dial. The original dynamic duo of computers will return. Van Gogh, Picasso, Rembrandt, they never painted our logo, but you can. Just log on now to ZDTV.com. Welcome back to the Screensavers. I'm Leo Laporte. I'm Kate Patello. Thank you for joining us. the last time us. you're going to hear that. <laughs>
Oh, oh. yeah? Watch. I'm Kate Patello. Oh, Thank you for joining us. See? So, oh, twice. I want to uh, do something for our buddy Jim Ladderback. Oh, yes. Because he's going on the road to sign autographs, and uh, we uh, we got it. I want everybody to go out there because it's in Nashville, where we were on, we, we've been there. We've signed yes, autographs in Nashville. We have, in fact. And when we went, we were only on like part time. Yeah. And, and now we're on full time in Nashville. So Jim's going to go out there, and I know there's wonderful people who are going to come by and say hi to him. It's Saturday, April 15th, All tax right. day. Or actually, Monday's tax day. So, uh, you okay. know, go by. He's going to be at the Everything Internet event at the Lowe's Van. Vanderbilt Plaza. Now that's at 2100 West End Avenue in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. The event goes from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. He's going to be wow, there for a long a time. Lots of chances to talk to Jim. He's got cool stuff, interactive panels, demonstrations. He's going to give his predictions for the Wired House of 2005. Oh, really? really a neat event. Cool. You can go to the website. Just go to ZDTV.com. Click on ZDTV in your town under the Games and Events section of the front page. All right. Okay. Now, folks, I just have to tell you, I know you watch Jim on TV. You really need to meet him in person to see how oh, he's cool great. he really he's is. Great. He's a personal he's a, friend. He's a little fat of ours. person, though. Don't mention the weight. You are you know, so jealous. He looks so good you on are TV. So funny. And then you meet him, he's like four or five hundred pounds. You are so <laughs> It's just, just don't, you know, don't mention it. Okay? You're just saying Cause that because there's no website dedicated to your when, teeth. When people come That's up to Jim, you know, why. you see, oh, Jim, and they go, oh, my God. So oh, no, please Jim, don't do that. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> no, I Give am. me a hunt. I'm intensely jealous. But seriously, I'm serious. Jim is a really yeah, cool guy. Him. Please go meet him and just see. You, you got to see him in person for yourself to believe it. It's totally true. So now that we've used all our chat room time. Yeah, do you verb your nouns? That's the question. Go there, vote. Yeah. Do you, we, we're polling. Right. Take, tell us the screensavers.com. Take the poll. There's all those verbing nouns. It's all very, people. very important. Was, it showed two lines of <laughs> chat. That was it. You can also chat with us at chat.zdnet.com. All right, all right, let's move along now. <laughs> Davis joins us on the ZDTV network, uh, Netcam network from Santa Monica, California. Hello, Davis! Hello, What's Davis! Up, What's up, Kate? Davis Good. is one of the uh, people who uh, does the ZDTV Fanit. So. Fanit, which is fanitme.com, yeah, I believe. F-A-N-I-T-M-E.com. Fanit. -E Are right. you doing a tribute to Kate on the site they by are. any chance? Well, we, well, we have, yeah, we have sections, and we were the second site to find out about Kate leaving on Monday. They yes. broke the story, didn't they? They did. It was... But, we, I had Kate and Leo .com registered, and the site is up, but we're going to make it a scrapbook site now. That's great. Oh, so well, that's anybody wonderful. and everybody, please submit anything to Davis at KateandLeo.com, and we'll put it back, we'll put it up. Oh, that's great. And you Davis. know, there will always be a Kate and Leo. See, I mean, that's the thing. We are always going to be Kate and Leo. We yes, just may not be Kate and Leo, the screensavers, but, dude, we will always be You know Kate what I think Leo. the best Kate and Leo story is? On eBay, oh, yeah. <laughs> when somebody is autographing our autograph picture, it's up to $89. Yeah, Money, uh, Money Machine said that. They did that, but did they show, and they show the Titanic, right? Yeah. Kate, Kate Winslet and Leo DiCaprio. Yeah. Their autograph picture, like $29. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, there's such has that been was washed in, up. It's that was just over. not gracious of me it's just at over. all, was it? But see, there's only one Titanic, and there's like 400 episodes of us together. And there will always be a Kate and Leo. So That's I'm right. glad there's a Kate and Leo to come to memorialize that. Thanks, Davis. And the message board. Did you have a side. question? Oh, yeah. Well, question? It, I have one more thing after this, yeah. But, okay. Um, Quickly, because quick we actually do want to do some, some computer content stuff here. today. <laughs> okay. Yep. Since, <laughs> since I think Leo knows, remembers that I did beta test Windows 2000. Yeah. Cool. And I did go on call for help, but yeah. now that we have B and I have Linux and Windows 2000, Windows 98, and two hard drives, one 20 gig and one 6 gig. Oh, you're sick. I really want to get them all to work out together, and I want to know what is the best way to set up the partition. Can't we all just get along? You're a nut, man. You know, the big, big, big <laughs> problem is that Windows 2000 wants to be the boot manager for everything, right? Right. So, but um, then B has the best boot manager. Yeah, but uh, you can't but use you can't it. you can't use it because... the B boot manager has to sit in the master boot record. You do that. The minute you do that, Windows 2000 is going to go... Bleh! And it's going to get mad at you, and it's going to say, I'm broken and never boot again. It doesn't play yeah, well with others, does yeah. it? Yeah. So, so I think what you want to do is install all of those, put the, um, put the Linux... Lilo, the Linux bootloader in the boot directory, not master boot record. Okay. Don't use Bootman with BOS, just install it. Okay. Install finally Windows 98 or whatever version of Windows you are happily using right now. And then the last thing you install is Windows NT. Windows NT will only, will, will not recognize Linux or B. It will only recognize Windows 98. 
But what it will do is it'll put a boot manager on and it'll actually give you the chance to boot between Windows 98 and BOS. And then I'm thinking, now Davis, I haven't tried this at home, but I'm thinking what you can do is there's a file on that C colon root directory of Windows 98 called boot.ini right. that you can modify to add pointers to the other partitions to the Linux oh. boot partition and to the BOS partition. Very interesting. And if you do that properly, I firmly and fervently believe Windows 9, uh, 2000 when it boots will then say 98, 2000, Linux, and B. Okay. Okay. I don't do that because I have two different drive chains and I just use the BIOS to boot to the second drive chain. Oh, that's oh. very smart. Mine but, does that too. Yeah, actually. and that's handy if you can boot to other drive chains. That's the easiest probably, maybe not the easiest, but it's a guaranteed way to work. All I know is NT's got to be the last in there. Now, you might be able to use a boot manager after NT. Um, this is the other option if you want to buy some software. System Commander Deluxe 2000 My goodness. from V Communications purports to work with all of these, including NT. And they have some elaborate instructions for NT. So that if you can't get that working, Davis, then get System Commander from V Communications, the okay. latest version. Okay? Okay. okay. All and right, um, I just want to say I love you, Kay, and I can't believe that you're leaving, but I, talk I, to, I talk hope to, that we get to see you more often. You will. I will so. be here, I promise. I, you know, it's for all of y'all. So. I talked to Davis's mom this morning, yes. by the way. <laughs> he's, <laughs> she told he's got me. a big crush on you. Okay, this is for Davis <laughs> and for the chat room. Davis in the chat room. Aww. That's for you guys. All right, I know. Cheesy to blow a kiss, but it's real. Now, will you please take us to break? No. No? Okay, again. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to... Last gonna... time you got up into the camera. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thanks, Kent Leo. How can you make modern technology, or how can you, how can modern technology make your computer more tactile? How about di digital clay? Clay. Yes, that's it. When the screensaver rolls on. All right, nice job. This program is sponsored in part by ZDNet, where technology takes you. Are you a geek? Have laptop will travel? Me too. Just finished a Java-based intranet in Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> now for my next job, I just click the dice, announce my availability again, and wait for the jobs to roll in. <laughs> find your next job fast on EarthWebsDice.com or let it find you. Miami, great. Oh, but I'm uh, booked this week. Click the dice. D-I-C-E. Dice.com. Mm. Lex makes me think of tissue paper. When it says computers. When it says a very famous boxer. Then again. Penguins are not very wise, you know. Dash. Today's animated website is a veritable film archive of the best animation on the web. Adamfilms.com features hundreds of works, ranging from the satirical to the sublime. A particularly moving piece is A Letter from the Western Front, directed by Daniel M. Kanemoto. Set in World War I France, a soldier writes home. Dear Sarah, it has been your portrait which I take to bed with me every night. It reminds me of what it used to be like to be me. On the homepage at Adam Films, click on Now Showing to find the animation channel. There you can browse by several categories. You also get to choose your media format, assuring you'll get the best viewing quality. Works like A Letter from the Western Front remind us that animation can touch our hearts with events and characters that seem all too real. Got a favorite animation site? Email me at zdtv.com slash dash. Dash. Better living through animation. There it is, the Screensavers website, a fabulous place to get more information about things you see on the show, you hear about. How Small is Small takes this week's uh, Super Geek Challenge. It's about nanotechnology. Find out, it's all at thescreensavers.com. Our congratulations to Casey from Farmington, Ohio, the winner of yesterday's Super Geek Twiz t-shirt, or cap. Giveaway! Woohoo! Give them away, Kate. All right, take them! 
Okay, lady, I love you. Bye bye. <laughs> he took him. <laughs> he took him. Come back here, you rotten little kid. Oh, you can. Quite an arm on that rotten little kid. Make sure you fill out the form, of course, after you've taken the quiz for your chance to win. And listen, folks, on our website today, on the dish, make sure you go there, because I've written an open letter to all of you, and all of you, and you, and everyone you, in the country. And you, and, and you, you, and you are there, <laughs> and you, and you. And I've written a letter to all of you explaining what's going on. So to answer all of your questions, I hope answer all of your questions, they're there. So check it the out. The Kate Fack. Yes, the Kate Fack. At the dish. All right. Now, as promised, here's do it with me. Uh, Sumidas okay. with a report about turning technology design into something you can see and hold in your hand on today's A Fresh Kid. If you've ever tried drafting on a computer, you know how difficult it can be. Granted, it's gotten much easier, but creating three-dimensional computer images often entails first drawing them on paper, then building models, and finally creating a wireframe from the coordinates of those models or using modeling software, which in turn will generate a more realistic 3D representation on the PC. Researchers at Xerox's Palo Alto Research Center are working on a project that could one day make this cumbersome process a whole lot easier. Digital clay evolved out of Park's modular robotics research and is centered around these rhombic dodecahedron shaped modules called Proteo. Digital Clay's principal designer, Sam Homans, originally chose Proteo's shape with simplicity in mind. But as fellow researcher Mark Yim explained, the modules' looks were deceiving. The hope was that these modules, are, since they actually move in a relatively discrete fashion, would, they would be simpler to build, and we could build lots of them. Um, it turns out that they're actually more difficult to build. <laughs> so um, we're looking at redesigning them, possibly using a different shape. No matter what the ultimate shape, Proteo modules will have limited functionality. They will do little more than reconfigure themselves, but this proves to be a very valuable feature. Every module has uh, electronics, a computer on board, and a way to communicate with its neighbors. So if you have a lot of these modules together, um, when the computers talk with each other, they can tell what their aggregate shape is. And if you plug that into a PC, you can actually have that uh, as an input device, a 3D kind of tactile input device for CAD systems or other things. So if, if we had a lot of these and they were small, you could kind of mold it like clay and then be able to shape um, whatever thing you're manipulating on the screen and have that in digital form as well. The module's ability to sense its orientation in space and its relative position to the other modules could greatly simplify and speed up the process of designing on a computer. While laser imaging can also generate a three-dimensional computer image from a model, digital clay would allow users to experience the computer representation in real 3D space, providing yet another example of how our virtual worlds and our real worlds are continuing to merge. A new fresh gear featuring the fabulous Sumi Das every weekend afternoon. Just trying to see if you're paying attention at 12.30 <laughs> Eastern right here on ZDTV. Email, 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 email. email. We got an email from James. Email. He says, I'm an avid Mac user, but I'm also a Linux fan. Good for you. Is there a way to run x86 compiled Linux programs for Linux PPC? No. More specifically, Quake 3 and Unreal Tournament. The oh. source is available for Quake 3 Arena now. Hmm. Can I just recompile it? Make it work on a Mac? Can we? Can we? We'll see. Porting software from one platform to the other when the screensavers continues. Introducing You Made It, ZDTV's newest show created entirely by you. Turn on your netcam and send us a V-mail. Say it. I'm Rick from Ashburn, Virginia. Sing it. For you and me. Or show it. Oh. If we pick it, you'll win a spot on ZDTV's hottest new show and a You Made It t-shirt. Send in your V-mail today. Go to ZDTV.com slash You Made It. When you're building an IT department, you need to find the best IT talent. Can you believe how fast they grew their company? It's extraordinary. Where'd they find all those people? And when you hire the most qualified IT professionals, there's no telling how far your company will go. 
OperationIT.com is dedicated to IT professionals and IT specialty firms. So if you want to access the best job opportunities or get new projects for your IT company, go to OperationIT.com and post your resume at the Career Center or Company Profile at the Business Center. With the ability to search thousands of current IT resumes and IT company profiles that are updated daily, you can staff and build your IT department overnight. OperationIT.com. How fast you want to grow. So here's the email from James. He wants to know about getting his, uh, his uh, Quake 3 Arena fix on Linux for the Mac. Talk yeah. about, let's talk about that. It's a little convoluted. What we're talking about is something called porting software, right. moving software from one platform to the other, um, or cross-platform compatibility. That's mm -hmm. another way of putting it. In order to get a program from one to the other, there are three big issues you have to resolve. First of all, the program has to be written in a language that is portable. Sure. A language that can uh, exist on all the different systems. And the language has to be standardized so that the version of the Mac doesn't work differently than the version on the PC, and it has to have standard libraries that work the same on both computers. So then the question would be, what is the most standard language? Well, Java is intended for portability. Right. All Java, all properly written Java is 100% portable. That's why we want the, people to learn Java. Well, yeah, but most most people still write in C, and, and, and C is very, very, very portable. So ANSI, C, or C++. Okay. That's, that's issue one. Second issue is the operating system itself. You know. Drawing a window on Mac looks different than drawing a window on the PC. The co you, normally, you would write directly to the Windows API, and that wouldn't work on the Mac. So you need to be able to support the operating system and the user interface. That's not so hard anymore because Mac, Windows, and Linux all have GUIs that work pretty much the same. So you can right. map pretty closely one to one. The final issue, and it's a big one, is hardware dependencies. You know, you're relying on there being a, a certain hardware card or, or so forth. Games, especially, tend to really want to write to the hardware because it's more efficient. Sure. So there are ways you can uh, get around hardware dependencies, but you always do it with a sacrifice. Two kinds of sacrifices, really. One is in, in uh, the full feature set. Let's say I have a 3D sound card on one machine, but I don't have on the other. If I use a general sound card library, I obviously can't have 3D sound cards in it. So I can, can't use the whole feature set. Hmm. And also, it's a little slower. So games tend to really write directly to the hardware. Programmers like to write directly to the hardware. They don't like writing portable code. They want to take advantage of every single feature that's written into Windows or really into the Mac. Get the so you have to really twist their arm to get them to write portable code. The final thing, if you don't have the source code, doesn't matter. If you don't have the source code, only the person who wrote the program, who owns the source code, can make the change. You, you can't can reverse engineer it. Can't not you? effectively. You okay. really can't port software unless you have the source code. It's just not a f not practical in other ways. That's why open source is a big deal. It means everybody controls the source code. Everybody has the ability to move it from one thing to another. Hmm. Quake 3 finally did not release the source code of the entire game. If they had, you wouldn't have to buy it. You could just recompile it. Right. They only released enough source code for you to write extensions to the game. It's fun hmm. to look at the source code. Source code, interestingly enough, is highly portable. It writes very, very, very portable stuff. That's why it works on Linux, Mac, and Windows, but it doesn't work on Linux for PowerPC. It only works on Linux for x86 architectures, and until it releases an x86 binary or releases the full source code, no port is possible. Okay. Sorry to say. If you want to know more about porting software, though, it's an interesting issue. I've written an article that you can look at on the uh, website. And okay. here's the source code. It's fun to look at. Look at these little codes. No clip, little... level shot, add bot. Well, source code is always fun to look at, and there sometimes are fun things in comments, like for instance, here's a comment that says, we spelled deferred wrong, but we're not going to change it because it's just the demo. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun awesome. to look at what the programmers wrote in the source code. All right, programmers often have sick senses of humor. They do. Know? All right. Hey, our friend Fireman Dan joins us on the ZDTV Netcam Network from Bloomfield, New Jersey. I'm so glad you called it's today, It's a good Dan. time to be here, Dan. How you doing? Hello. 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 Do I have to sing before I ask a question? No. No way. Uh, <laughs> I'll Faye, do it for you. Faye really da -da 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 No, I go. sing Mello Botello. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. They call me Mello Botello. There's an oxymoron. Yes. <laughs> so what can we do for you, Dan, our friend? Well, a quick question. Okay. Uh, I burn from AVIs to CDs, okay. mm -hmm. AVIs, and when I play them off CD, they're kind of jerky. Right. Yet if I put them on a hard drive, they play very well. Come on, Dan, you know the answer to that. Let's see, the CD is spinning. 
a lot slower. And thinking. And the hard drive is grabbing information, pulling it in the cache, dumping it out, letting you see it. While you're seeing it, it's pulling up more information, holding well, it in the cache. Well, it's, it's very it simple. Out. The hard drive has a sustained throughput capability about 20 or 30 megabytes a second. Yeah. Your CD, what is it, a 32X? 48. 48. 48. That's only really a few, a five, probably around five, I have to do the math, but about five megabytes a second. So now the way to fix this is to make these AVIs be uh, a slower bit rate. Hmm. So if you say, when you, when you digitize any digital audio or video, the, people see this all the time with MP3s now. When you make an MP3, you digitize it for a certain bit rate. Sure. Uh, that has to do with the quality, but it also has to do with how, how much data has to be transferred. So 128 kilobits per second, which is a standard MP3, oh. require, is, fa is fine for a CD. CDs are 150 kilobytes per second times the number of speeds they are. So it would be 48 times 150 kilobytes. That's going to be around four or five megabytes. I'd have to do the math for you. So what you'd have to do is resample those AVIs, those movies, to require no more than, let's say, five megabytes a second. You want to lower it a little bit because of overhead and so forth. You get what I'm saying? Yes, I do now. And All the other right. thing is these don't, when they spin at 48, that's the maximum. Right. The extreme. They spin at all different data rates. So really, in practically speaking, in most cases, you're not going to see more than about 16x throughput. Never digitize anything that's got to play off a CD any faster than that, any requiring any faster than that. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. All right. right. Love to that. you, Dan. Well, I think Dan's got a little go, something for you a little later on. Listen, uh, I'd just like to say, t say to Kate on behalf of all of her fans, I'd like to thank her for coming into our homes, and being our teacher, our favorite geek girl, and our friend. Aww. Kate, Dan, Dan, we've been trying to keep her from crying the welcome. whole show. You're welcome, Dan. <laughs> and I think you've just And I'm just going to take a deep breath like this. <laughs> and I'm just going to say, you're welcome, Dan. And so is everybody else. That's all I can say, OK? That's, thank <laughs> you. Thank you, Dan. Mm, very you're nice. Welcome. That's very sweet. All right, folks, cleansing breath in through the nose, She's out through the mouth. She's together pretty well, isn't she? <sighs> Listen up. Listen carefully, because it's the very last time I'm going to say this. I'm serious. I'm serious now. You listening? Record <laughs> and send us the dang V-mail. Show me the V-mail. Show me the instructions, your scripts. They're waiting for you at the screensavers.com. Now, here's one from Beverly Hills, California. Take it away. We love you, Kate. Have fun on GameSpot. Hurry back to us now. Peace. CDTV's Cam Film Festival has been extended. Enter by midnight this Friday and you're eligible to win great prizes. Enter now at ZDTV.com slash CamFest. Three, two, one. We are officially open for business. Facing a virtual reality? UPS can help you plan for it, manage it, and deal with it. We deliver more e-shipments than anyone. UPS, moving at the speed of business. People all around the world are watching ZDTV. Amaze yourself, you're watching ZDTV. Meet the guests of Silicon Spin. There's an outright Microsoft lie. Debating the hot topics in high tech. I don't like the idea of my computer watching me. I believe we should get pornography into the hands of children just as early as we possibly can. You're sick. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Do you actually think of what for you speak? It's another fine point you're making. Thank you. It would be considered politically incorrect. I had this problem before. I don't know who to attack. Silicon Spin, weeknights at 11.30, 10.30 Central, only on ZDTV. Tilda tells all. 404 errors could drive you to drink, literally. Planet Internet sold its error pages to Murphy's Irish Beer. So now every time a customer hits a broken link, a plug for suds comes up. Now advertising space is precious, but would you really want your company associated with a mistake? And who's next to capitalize on our frustration? Aspirin manufacturers? Sledgehammer companies? <laughs> what do you think? Check out my column at ZDTV.com slash Tilda. A daily dose of the best from the net.
Tonight on the show, we've got a Mike Tyson scandal, gay dad, the cartoon cam, a homepage of trouble, our good old standby stag day. Did you happen to notice that I was back by any chance? No, seriously. Internet Tonight, coming up next on ZDTV. Howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Screensavers. You know what? Who cares how many of you have your up downs? <laughs> Who cares? This is where we would usually do that, but we've got other fish to fry Who cares? You have 24 today. hours to vote for crying out loud. It's at thescreensavers.com, you know, for Pete's sake. Oh, I don't know. That just sounds like a shameless grab for ratings. <laughs> no, it's not. Speaking of shameless grabs for ratings, yes, no. Um, so let's tell us what you're going to tell us what you're going to be yes, doing. Yes, I'm very fortunate. I am going to GameSpot, and I'm going to be hanging out with Adam Sessler, who is a dude. I just can't wait. He's really cool. He'll take good care of me. I promise. I know he will. And, I already uh, had to talk. Oh, 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 oh. look out! <laughs> um, so basically, it goes like this. Of course, I'm going to be doing gaming, but I'm also I'm going to still be a geek, y'all. I'm still your tech chick. I'm going to be doing gaming in um, B, in Linux, in Mac. Lots of alternative operating stuff. We're going to do some gaming server stuff. We're going to do hard. I'm going to have so much fun. I promise I will still be a super geek and I will come back, do some segments, and visit y'all. better. Now, listen, partner boy. No, no, no. Thank no. you. Please don't. That's, That's all, all gonna we're going to say. Thank you. It's, it's been a wonderful two years you know, and it's not as far from over. Kate. Well, we are still Kate and Leo. We sure and are. And we're always going to be Kate and Leo, don't and I just want to make sure that you guys all understand that. And I have to give all my love to all of you watching. You've been here with us from day one. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart for being there and making it worth it to be here. When I've met you, you have just paid me back for all my work with your learning and your care and your energy and your hearts. And I thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart forever. So She's a very special person. We're going to miss you, Kate, but we're not going to lose you. Nope, I'll be That's back. That's it for this edition of the Screen Savers. One more time, shall we? Let's do it. Jump, be nice baby, to jump. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? You don't need that mic anymore. <laughs> This is this is the key to the screensavers. Uh, Patello, we recycled the key from uh, the city of York. I hope you don't mind. Oh, We've got cards myself. for you. We've got uh, some balloons and these flowers oh, uh, from all the screensavers oh. fans and the screensavers family. Thank and, you guys so much. We just so want to much. thank you, Kate, for being such an inspiration to us all. Yes. You made it. And we're gonna miss you. Thank bye you, bye. guys. Thank bye you. Bye. Thank you. Let's all thank say you. goodbye to Kate. ZDTV News at the top of the hour is sponsored by Dell, providing the infrastructure to power your e-business. Dell knows how e works. To all the new e-businesses just getting started, why not talk to the company that's pioneered the business-to-business -business revolution on the web? One whose own infrastructure supports $40 million per day in e-commerce alone. One who can help you achieve the same success with your e as we have with ours. Dell knows how he works. Visit Dell.com. Delhi Business Service use Intel Pentium 3 Xeon processors. And now, the latest from the ZD Network Newsroom. Hello, I'm Victoria Racano for ZDTV News. The captain of the Starship Enterprise is flying high on Wall Street. Actor William Shatner led a fleet of sellers when he unloaded stock last month from options he earned promoting Priceline. 
The star of the Star Trek TV series was the pitch man for the online shopping site. He sold 35,000 shares, a third of his holdings, for $3 million and change in March. Now the stock would have only been worth $2.5 million. Shatner was one of many Internet executives and employees to take advantage of soaring stock prices in March to sell a record amount of stock from options. Since reaching an all-time high March 10th, the tech-heavy Nasdaq has plunged 17 percent. Priceline stock has dropped 24 percent. For more news, check out our website, ZDTVNews.com. Tonight on Internet Tonight, the scenic town of San Francisco captured on film. Plus, Liam's here to chat about yet another wacky Brit band. And an animated tale of a woman's fate aboard a pirate ship. Shiver your own timbers, Walt. It's time for Internet Tonight. Arr. Fair and Square edition of Internet Tonight. I'm Scott Harriet. And I'm Michaela Pereira. Topping Internet News tonight. In an effort to thwart cheating in the online computer game EverQuest, developer Verant Interactive nearly stepped into a heap of PR badness. Verant had planned on updating the game to include a program that would sniff out hacking tools on players' computers that could be used to cheat in the game. Computers identified as having the hacking tools would be banned from logging on to EverQuest. The announcement caused a firestorm of disapproval from the game players. Verant has since backed away from the idea and is exploring other options. Ever try to get badness off your shoes? <laughs> a 33-year-old hall monitor has been arrested for stealing two of Mike Tyson's championship belts and attempting to sell them on eBay. The belts, valued at $50,000 each, were listed under the name of one William Eady on the site. And as it turns out, Eady once worked for Tyson's manager. Las Vegas police became involved after Tyson reported the belt stolen from a storage locker. Before the belts were taken off eBay, the high bid was just over nine grand. A University of Massachusetts professor was in for a surprise when he had his website shut down. Apparently the site, made by tenured English professor, contained photos of him with bare-chested women and links to adult sites. The site housed on the university server was taken down because the school felt it violated their acceptable use policy. A university spokesperson said the professor disagrees with their policy and plans to take it up with the administration. Shanghai, concerned over diminishing space in the city's cemeteries, is planning a website where people can mourn their loved ones in cyberspace. The remains of 100,000 people are buried in the city each year, and authorities are afraid they're going to run out of space in the next six years. Once the site is up, relatives would be able to establish a virtual mourning hall where a picture of the deceased, personal information, flowers, candles, funeral orations, and even music could be posted. It would also provide email links. An internet startup in Houston has ambitious plans to create a virtual library for college students. To do that, Questia Media Incorporated plans to scan the books and documents, convert them to text, and then proofread them all. The company expects to have 250,000 volumes digitized within three years and is hoping to raise more than $200 million to fund the undertaking. The idea is that searching a digital library will be much more efficient than the old way. Avenging mutants with names like Storm, Cyclops, and Wolverine are blasting their way onto the web. Yes, the new X-Men trailer has hit the internet a day before it plays to theater goers. This is the second trailer for the film that has gone up on the site. X-Men stars Patrick Stewart as Professor Charles Javier and Halle Berry and Anna Paquin as two of the superheroes. The uh, full release is due, or the feature is due fully on uh, July 14th. Mark that down in your yeah. calendar. Mm -hmm. Let's unwrap the Web Almanac for a Thursday, the 6th of April. It was on this day in 1930 that a bakery executive invented the Twinkie. Yes, somehow the world managed to survive without those cream-filled snacks until then. 70 years later, they're still going strong. And at the official Hostess Twinkie site, quaintly titled Planet Twinkie, you can say happy birthday to the sugary snack and follow a Twinkie dressed up as a cowboy on his adventures. No telling where a snack with the shelf life of Warren Beatty will take you, but apparently it's somewhere in Twinkie Town. There's also games at the site, a survey, recipes, and a bio of your guide who goes by the name Twinkie the Kid.
I think I might start calling you that. Okay. Don't let all the sights whiz by you in a messy blur, friends. Just log on to internet tonight and look for our big list. Let's try this. Every diabetic's nightmare. When you live in an urban city, it's easy to never really stop and take notice of what's going on around you. Coming up, we'll meet someone who's definitely taking notice and pictures and putting it all on the web. And Liam's here with Gay Dad, a net-savvy Brit band that will hopefully explain their name. All that in a chimp and a loose-fitting girdle when Internet Tonight returns. <laughs> application and I get a totally irrational conflict with some other application. Now I could tear my hair out making their conflict my conflict, also totally irrational. Or I can go to EarthWeb and get somebody else's instant fix. Say you need this much code to write a program, but you keep getting stuck on this little part. You just go EarthWeb, search, copy, paste. 